Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Take three. <laughs> so, unfortunately, this time what happened, Qadr Allah Masha, the electricity in the house went. Right, so the the this, the electric tripped. So, unfortunately, it just cut everything off. So, all the switches, everything just switched off. So, Qadr Allah, look, look, look what happens on this kind of a night, yeah? Taqdeer. <laughs> Is that taqdeer or what? So, anyway, I'm going to see how much of the chat has been retained. Otherwise, I do apologize if you did ask a question and it got lost. Yeah, so load shedding. That's the way, man, load shedding. So it wasn't outside, it wasn't outside electricity. It was just in the house. The switch just went randomly. I think probably someone put something on. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, 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 things these happen. These things happen, man. These things happen. Yeah, take it with a pinch of salt. Living in the dunya, I mean, never happened before in my live streams, has it? Never in my live streams has ever have I had uh, electricity going off. First time, first time for everything. Alhamdulillah. Blame the cat, definitely. That's it. <coughs> Okay, so let's continue from where we left off. Uh, uh, right, so, Salam Shaykh, to what extent do we as Muslims have to propagate our Islamic beliefs when in a setting with those different views? I'm currently studying social uh, work at uni. Uh, some classmates have said misinformation about Islam in regards to such as homosexuality surrounding the topic of discrimination. I have not engaged in the discussions because some of my classmates could take offense and I don't know how to speak. Yeah, so in these kind of you, you won't have to respond. Yeah, so response is only necessary upon someone <coughs> in a situation where they are knowledgeable to talk about it. And number two is that if they know that the backlash will not be harmful for them. Yeah, so in this situation, it looks like it's going to be a very sensitive topic and it's not really the environment to talk about it. Uh, I do not want to show off my deeds, alhamdulillah, Allah has allowed me to do them, your advice on buying them gifts and duas is really helpful, the things that in general life, in life I feel they are always competition and comparison, I do always want to start a YouTube channel inshallah, I take inspiration from you Allah and I feel at ease knowing that you know what I'm feeling, please make dua, ameen, ameen, may Allah bless you, may Allah put barakah in your life, in your time, in your health, yeah definitely, definitely, yeah definitely that's something which I would say a person should uh, you know, try to aspire to. Yes, aspiration, these kind of aspirations, I think they're very important that Muslims, uh, you know, do these kind of things. Okay, so, where is this chat gone? Chat disappeared. All right. Very funny, I just feel like, feel like laughing there. All right, so some of, the, some of the, the questions have been, so your comments have been saved, okay, it's on the previous video. Uh, okay, so let's check this out. Uh, uh, Salam alaikum. I, you know what happened? Ah, I know what happened. MP is your fault, you know, because I read Assalamu alaikum. The legend has arrived, and you messed it up, right? Do toba and send some uh, uh, some tea. Send some nice tea over. You're the one that messed it up. As soon as I read that legend has arrived, that was the last message. Okay, Hassan, Salam Mufti, does an object only become impure if traces of impurity are visible on it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if they are visible. If they're not visible, as long as you know it's there, then it's also impure. Yeah, it's considered to be impure. Uh, Mubin Rahman, what's your opinion on prawns? I think they are permissible if you're in an area which people eat it. Bob, can you explain further about why insurance is haram? Insurance is haram because according to Islam, it's Islam, when you go into any transaction, there has to be a certain thing that you receive at the, on the other side. So if you buy anything from the shop, your money has to be given in return for something which is certain. In this case, it's not certain. So because of the uncertainty, this transaction is considered to be what, what is known as a, uh, you know, uh, uh, sorry, an uncertain transaction. So that's what renders it impermissible, which falls under the umbrella of interest riba. 
Uh, user Tariq Sheikh, what's your opinion on investing in shares and investment funds where there is a question of the share and can either be successful or plummet? Yes, permissible as long as the investment is done in a company that's halal, permissible, like it's Sharia compliant. So yeah, it's permissible. <clears throat> that's if you're buying assets, as long as you're buying assets, that is, and you're not betting on the shares. Yusuf Dawood, what would insurance on my phone be Islamically legal if the phone costs 800 to 1,000 pounds? I would say no. Yeah, I would say because this isn't something which, you know, uh, which a person... Oh, I mean, it actually depends on the person's situation. How often has your phone really got damaged, broken? So if you look at that, if it's something which is extremely common and it could cost you a lot, then possibly. Otherwise, no. Again, it's a it's a kind of case by case. It's not like a brush rule for everyone. I Hussein Sheikh, but when one buys a car from a dealership, they offer they, they offer the car on finance. If you can't buy out outright, this have has an APR attached to this interest. Are you saying this is permissible? No, I am not saying that's permissible. That's a different thing, that is. So what I'm talking about is instalments is different, and if it's interest based, uh, then it's different. Yeah. Arabic to say, Assalamu alaikum with you. What do you do? For your downtime, badminton, recycling, um, stuff like that, live sessions, Q and A, nine p.m. Saturdays. Use of readings uh, I've done on Islam, Q and A, and four month helps. One says it's not allowed. Can you give some examples on why birthdays are halal? Because there's nothing to say they're haram. The default state basically is everything on earth is halal. Everything on earth is halal. That's the rule. All concepts, all, all sort of like principles and concepts on earth are halal, unless they clash with Islam. So if you can prove that something is wrong, then we say that's wrong. So for example, sitting on the chair is halal. I can't, I can't prove to you sitting on the chair is halal. Unless the Quran says that you can't do it. Does that make sense? So that's why birthdays themselves are considered to be, uh, are fine. There's nothing wrong with birthdays. They're not attached to any religious like festival or any religious ritual. And, and and there's not there's nothing sort of like contradicting Islam. So the four madhab, there's nothing to my knowledge, there's nothing in the four madhab to say that birthdays are haram. What you might have heard is a question, an answer, person answering a question, whose whose sort of like assumption is that this would not be permissible. But like I said, what is the reasoning? Yeah, you have to present the reasoning. So birthdays, there's nothing nothing wrong with birthdays. <sighs> Okay, Abdul Majid, uh, instead of those acoustic things, you got to stop the reflection of the of the noise just when a window or door or both. Yeah. Uh, Mubin, are you working on any other new courses for the Uruk website? Uh, at the moment, uh, kind of. Kind of, not really. I'm like on the side working on things. Uh, but I just have to like, you know, finalize it. Um, Yusuf Dawood, when uh, when's the Sajda Sahu video coming out? So haven't you seen it? It's on my uh, Kuduri. So if you go to my Kuduri videos, it's a, I've got a whole series on Kuduri. So go to the playlist, check it out. It's in there. It's near the the, the one of the latest ones I've done. Hasib Mufti, if you don't mind me asking, how long have you been doing this channel? Alhamdulillah, since I found out about. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. I've been doing it since 2012, on and off. I was doing it for about three or four years, on and off, just putting a few things on. Then I decided <coughs> to start my Patreon channel, uh, which is where you get uh, people who donate to the channel, support the channel on a monthly basis. And if anyone does want to support my channel on a monthly basis, whatever amount you want to give, you can do that. Uh, you can do it through PayPal if you like, if you just want to give it through you know, one-off uh, donations and the details are in the description. Or you can actually become a patron as well. And there's perks for the patrons. So yeah, since I've been doing that, nearly every day I'm putting up a video now. So I don't know really know how many videos I've actually put up since then. I'll have to work it out. Uh, but I've put up quite, alhamdulillah, quite a lot of videos. Um, okay, next. Okay, so Siddiq. Uh, what's the question here? Okay, Sadiq, what are the guidelines on communication, communicating with a potential rishta via text, etc.? I understand we should try to keep things normal as possible, but how do you judge that? What is your advice? So what I would say is, look, just have a normal conversation with them. Anything you want to ask, just like you'd have a conversation with like a new work fellow at work. 
Like if there's a new person that came to work, how would you speak to them? How would you have a conversation? They're like that. Have a conversation. Try to find out the main things that you want to figure out. You know, are you going to be compatible? That's the kind of main thing I would say you need to work out in the marriage. Are you going to be compatible or not? So for example, like, you know, um, you know, are they people who get moody quick? Are they people who are very judgmental? Are they people who are, that's kind of things difficult to work out, right? You know, that's going to take time to work out. So, uh, okay, Ahsan, Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Is it true that if a person intends to memorize the Quran uh, and continues to do it, but doesn't finish it in the dunya, will finish it with, with the angels? There's some narrations that indicate that. Abdullah, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, ahla wa sahlan, Abdullah Haf, Hafizji, man fada wa alaikum assalam, Hazrat, your room set up really nice, mashallah. I think the nazar, yeah, the nazar that you guys have given to the setup, because <laughs> I've I bought a new clamp, yeah, and the nazar, either it's MP, I think it's MP, yeah, MP saying, no, it's not me, not me, yeah, I think it's MP, well, we, we, we're going to find out on the day of judgment, or it's either nazar, yeah, so anyway, whatever it is, today we had the uh, Three sessions of live streams. So don't say I don't give you enough live streams here. Yeah. Three sessions of live streams. It could be four. Uh, Hasib, also, what does Madhab mean? So Madhab, I've actually made a video on this. So go to my YouTube channel, type in the history of Madhabs, and I've explained it there in a lot of detail. Right, so check it out there, inshallah. History of Madhabs. Uh, okay, next one, I Hussein. I think I've caught up with all the questions. They put on audio tilawa at some Asian supermarkets in the background. Yeah, that that I don't I don't I, I I don't think that's not for like personal. That's not for personal. That's just for like just creating atmosphere. That's just like entertainment background, you know, sound. I disagree with that totally. Okay, so what a what a what a day, what a day, man, what a day. Right, so let's check out the questions. The rest of the questions. Take three. Are we going for a four eighty? <laughs> yep. We are going 480. We're going to go all the way down, all the way down to zero. Three days question A tonight. Load shedding in three Birmingham city. Uh, whoa. Assalamu alaikum. Western business standards. We have uh, INC, uh, uh, LLC, non profit types of business formats. Uh, can we take advantage of excluding what is ob obviously haram, i.e., non -pro uh, can non profit take a grant for food housing? So as long as these kind of things, as long as it does not breach the terms and conditions that are set by the government, then it would be permissible. Yeah, there'd be permissibility there. But if it, if it's like deceiving the government in the policies that they've set for these kind of organizations, then it would be fall under the concept of uh, dishonesty. Blame the cat. Nah, not the cat. Uh, Sheikh, what's your opinion on investing in shares? So we've done that one. Assalamu alaikum wa Rk. Shed. Uh, how are you? Alhamdulillah, Rais. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome, welcome. I thought you said shed, mufti shed. I was thinking shed. I go, I got a shed in the back garden. Uh, Sharif, a uh, very good Rais. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, Sharif, uh, two riddles for old time's sake. Number one, is it legal for a man to marry his widow's uh, sister? Um, well, if he's if he, if he's his widow, that means he's dead. So how can a dead person? Number two, a cowboy rides into town on Jum'ah. He stays three days, then rides out of town on Jum'ah. How? So he's so obviously that is, so he, he rides into town on Jum'ah. Yeah, he stays three days. Yeah, so he stays three days and he rides out of town on Jum'ah. So it could be the animal could be called Jum'ah. Like he's named it Jum'ah. Wallah alam. What do you guys think? Hasib, what does madhab mean? So I've answered that. Mufti, what's up? Is it possible to do a full ghusl in a very short frame of time? Yes, definitely. I mean, I've actually probably done a ghusl like in madrasa, I remember. I've probably done getting late for class. I've probably done a ghusl in like two minutes. No joke. Yeah, very, very possible. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I want to study Islamic finance, but don't know where to start from. What I would suggest is, first of all, uh, study a, a particular fiqh book from, from a scholar. And then you can go to places like Markfield. Markfield Institute, where they have a degree in Islamic finance. Yahya Alam, Sheikh, I need some clarification on the Fatiha in the third and fourth rakat of an obligatory prayer. I know it's not needed to do, but it's makru to leave. Is it, but is it makru to leave it out? No, it's not makru. It's just afdal to do it. The Hanafi say. Also, I read in in Mukhtar. Uh, are you talking about? Are you talking about Durul Mukhtar or Radul Muhtar? That you just say Subhanallah three times. That's fine. Yeah. 
According to Hanafis, there's three things that you can do in a Fard Salat, Dhuhr, Asr and Isha Fard Salat in the last two rakats. You can either read Fatiha, you can stay silent for that duration, or you can just read you know, Tasbih, Subhanallah, s- several times. That's totally fine. And it's not makru to leave it out, it's just ghair afdal. It's, sorry, it's just considered to be uh, afdal to recite the Fatiha. And this is uh, narrated from Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. Well, Sheikh, in your opinion, is there any chance of reconciliation between Islam and the theory of evolution? I don't really know too much about evolution to be able to comment on it. But I think there is. There is. I mean, I, I personally believe in animal res- uh, evolution to be plausible. I think that's plausible. And that fits, in, that fits in within the concepts of Sharia. But when it comes to evolution of things like Adam alayhi salam, I think that's where problematic it conflicts with like very sort of like categorical texts. So the texts are somewhat categorical, you can say. MP, no, you answered some questions after you read mine. Don't blame me. Well, I did answer your question, the last question on the chat. So technically it was you. So is car insurance haram then? So yes, car insurance is haram, but out of necessity, it's allowed. So when things are like pork is haram, but out of necessity for persons in a situation where that's the only thing that's going to keep them alive, then they can take it. Or like medicine that's contains some haram ingredient like alcohol. If it's out of necessity to keep yourself alive, to save yourself, to cure yourself, treat yourself from a cough, then you can take it. So like car insurance, if you didn't have a car, would your life become extremely difficult? Most people, yes. So that's why it's allowed. I was saying background is going in and out of focus. Is it still going in and out of focus? It shouldn't be. Is it? Aha, you are right. Yeah. It is going in and out of focus. And now it will go back into focus. Uh, Siddiq Rahman, what are the guidelines for communicating? We should answer that one. Mahmood, Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan, marhaban Mahmood. Always nice to see you. How do you give advice to someone when they are doing wrong? I intend not to correct people as I like to avoid confrontation. Whoever sees, I think I answered that one. Uh... To answer that one, was that about the issue in the in the working in that environment, uh, Sheikh? But I'm fairly sure, according to FCA regulation in the UK, that a retailer can only charge more for extended payment goods if they state an APR. So clearly, stating the cost of goods plus interest. I'm not too sure about that. What I would suggest is uh, these kind of issues. If you contact <coughs> Mufti Faraz Adam, you can get him on uh, social media. Asking because I don't know exactly how the UK government works on these kind of things, but I'm telling I'm telling you technically, like from if a person was to sell their car, let's say for example, like I'm selling you my car, and I said to you, I'll sell you my car for three thousand pounds cash, or if you want to pay over two years, I'll sell it to you for four thousand pounds, yeah, in instalments, yeah, that's permissible, it's from an Islamic point of view. So I'm just answering you from an Islamic point of view. Uh, if not by his mouth, then ha, and that is <coughs> that is the lowest faith. Uh, is it makru to keep a qadha fast on Sunday? Uh, no, unless you believe that fasting on Sunday is more rewarding. Ahlan wa sahlan Zubair, long time no see. Yusuf Dawood, sunnah of maintaining hair, different oils, prophets use, different styles. Again, this kind of word sunnah of maintaining hair, there's no particular sunnah of maintaining hair. As in, when we use the term sunnah from a fiqh point of view, we mean something which if you don't do, you're going to be considered to be really bad, like look frowned upon. Uh, so it's considered to be just something like a normal practice the Prophet someone would use, olive oil um, and, and things like that, combing the hair. Um, do you ever get compassion fatigue as people come to you with a lot of yes? Yes, is that, is that the name for it? Oh, right. I definitely get that. And I get people who kind of like respond to me and say to me, you're very blunt in how you answer. You don't kind of listen to our, 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 what we have to say. Basically, what a lot of people want is them to kind of like you to discuss with them. So if someone has a problem, they want you to take out time, 10, 15 minutes, talk to them. And I, I mean, <laughs> I don't really have time for that. right? And I'm not really trained in that kind of field. So this is why I tell people straight. I, I ask them, what's the nature of the question? If they say, oh, it's marital problems. I go, look, I'm not trained in this. Best to speak to an Islamic Muslim counselor. And then they'll be able to help you with that. So I do sound a bit blunt sometimes when I'm answering emails or answering messages that people send. But that's only because 
I kind of think to myself, look, I've, I've kind of answered so many of these questions. I kind of know what the answer is, but that person isn't really kind of willing to accept the answer. They just want someone to listen to their problems, if that makes sense. So I think that's that's my problem. So, for example, a retailer cannot say I will charge 2000 now, but 5000 if you pay over two years. In this instance, I'm sure in the UK, I, I'm not sure. So you, you're going to have to check that out. Uh, check it out with a uh, someone who's qualified in, in both Islamic and, and they'll be able to tell you. Uh, Bush, Miss, Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. I hope you are well. Uh, are semi-permanent or permanent eyelashes allowed and are hair extensions and hair transplants allowed? So semi-permanent, I don't know what semi-permanent and permanent means. Like, What does that mean exactly? The, the point basically is, is that anything that is going to cause a barrier to stop water from touching the skin where you have to do wudu and ghusl, you can't use that unless it's for medical purposes. And likewise, tr hair transplants, if it's hair transplant from your own body, there's scope in the Hanafi school for that. So if you're taking it from another part of your body and adding that right to the to the scalp, that's that there's scope for that. Some Hanafi say no, some Hanafi say yeah. But taking it from another human being, that's like a no-no. What's the ruling on wearing an iron ring as a male? According to Hanafis, not allowed. According to other madhabs, allowed. Shafi say it's allowed. Car insurance is required by law in some countries too. Yeah, so so that would be something. In, in this UK, it's, it's by law. You have to have car insurance. You have to have, you know, MOT and you have to have all these checks. Wa alaikum as salam tawqeed. Ahla wa sahla marhaban. Good to see you again. Mahmoud, I, I was at work and, and work. Why is pork haram? I just said because of Allah's word in the Quran. I tried to explain about how we follow Quran, but I didn't know if there was any other reason. Yes, 100% that, that, correct. The most knowledgeable scholar in the world can only tell you. No one in the world besides Allah and the Prophet Sallallahu would know that the, the reasoning behind it. Everything else is speculation. So it's interesting because pork is haram, but no one, no scholar can actually put their finger on the reason why pork is haram. But alcohol is haram, but every scholar can put their finger on the reason why it's haram. Intoxication. Muzaffar, Jazakallah khayran ala nasihatika al-mufida ya shaykh, alhamdulillah an astansihuka نعم احتفالات ديوالي مستمرة هنا في الشوارع تسمع أصوات المرتفعات النارية في كل مكان آه سبحان الله سبحان الله الآن هنا قد انخفض صوت قد ذهب صوت الحمد لله نحن الآن يعني بهدوء you made short of them both you made short of them both correct man is dead horse's name is Juma uh, sometimes, sometimes I know the answer, but I like you know stretching it. I like doing like the philosophical thing to it. So I didn't want to do the philosophical thing today. Yeah, is car breakdown cover permissible? Again, car breakdown. If it's something which is going to cause you a lot of problem, then you can take it. Like in my situation, uh, the, the the so depending on the car I have, I I sometimes take car insurance, a car breakdown, because I know if that car breaks down. It's going to be very expensive for me to be able to get a car out there and especially with the sort of like, you know, kind of like predictability of that car. Uh, I've started watching the Mukhtasar Al-Quduri video since I found out about it last week. Remember I said uh, Uzuri and that. Uh, anyways, I'm still on third or fourth video. I need to definitely watch. Inshallah, inshallah. Excellent, excellent. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Give me feedback as well. Yeah. Sufyan, click like everyone. Not enough likes for the amount of views. Yeah. So three times you got to click likes. Yeah. Like the algorithm in YouTube is going to go wild tonight. They're going to say, whoa, this guy roots our knowledge, man. This guy's got like so many viewers just like straight away popping up. Don't click like. <laughs> you know what they say, any people like doing the things that you tell them not to do. Live stream had a blip then. Uh, hope it was just me. Can I uh, believe a study philosophy? Yes, definitely. And I know many scholars that actually are studying philosophy at a very high level. What I would say is before you study philosophy, study your, your 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 Islamic beliefs thoroughly, properly. Yeah, the image isn't synced with the voice. I think uh, audio sync is fine. <laughs> yeah, MP. <laughs> it's happening to you, MP. Yeah, you laughed at me. Now it's happening with you. Bravo, bravo. Uh, uh, Raiz, I took your advice about buying hybrid bike. I am planning on buying a uh, Boardman hybrid. Uh, if you can search it up, let me know what you think. 
<laughs> I'm not the best person. I'm not the expert of bikes, but I will ask around from the guys that I know. Yeah, I'll ask around from the guys that I know, and inshallah, I'll let you know, inshallah. Oh, actually, Abdul Majid is here. Abdul Majid is here. Excellent. Boardman is very, isn't very good. It's a good hybrid, but get a road bike. That's it. I was about to say, where is my best mate, Abdul Majid? And guess who pops up? Abdul Majid pops up. Yeah. So Abdul Majid, I need you to do the dumb on my channel, bro. Yeah, my live stream. Live stream has has had to be st stopped. Once it was voluntarily, other was involuntary. <coughs> Yeah, Allah. Alhamdulillah, all the questions are done. All the questions are done. I think today was a, a roller coaster day today. Yeah, a roller coaster. A roller coaster today. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So I really enjoyed it, as usual. You know, mashallah, you guys are wonderful people to hang out with. Uh, I was saying, is this the time for jokes? Is this the time for jokes? Come on, man. Come on. Spend, spend, Amiri, Assalamu Are there any Hanafi scholars with Athari creed, by the way? Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, um, I mean, there were many Han See that both creeds are permissible. <coughs> Athari creed is permissible in the sense, Athari as in, in the, like the true Athari sense. I'm not talking about Athari in the meaning of Salafi. Yeah, that's different. So Salafi sort of like, twist on Athari Aqeedah, that's not what we're talking about, we're talking about the original Athari belief of the early, early scholars. That's totally permissible and many of the scholars have even said that this belief is considered to be the safest, like the safest position to take um, in the sense that there's not that many objections that are raised against it. Whereas the Kalam is considered to be more sort of like objectable, so there's more discussion regarding it. So. I mean, I haven't really kind of spoken to any scholars that, I, but I've heard from there are scholars. I think Sheikh Akram Nadawi he he uh, takes the position of the Athari, and uh, you know many other scholars. So the, the belief is that we believe in 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 the the the, the belief of what the Aqidah mentions, but the Kalam itself is just like a a sort of like a way of trying to respond to attacks in a rational way. Zakhlaq Khair, Ahlul Wasan Sufyan. Abdul Majid, Abdul Majid, what are you saying tomorrow? Is the weather going to be good? Udu'u li an yusahil Allahu li amuri ya shaykh Ameen, inshallah, Allah yusahil lak Wa sofa adu'u lak inshallah We had a trilogy Trilogy, that's the one Trilogy, trilogy, that's it now like Matrix Trilogy, you can have a live stream trilogy. <laughs> weather looks weather looks awful. Ah, Inshallah, we have Allah. We'll make dua, Inshallah. And there's going to be like a, a window of opportunity. Uh, yeah, after Zohar, if it doesn't rain, I'm ready, Inshallah. I am ready. Right guys, so Jazakallah Khair, thank you very much for that wonderful uh, evening. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend as well. Uh, <laughs> click dislike button. <laughs> uh, what can I say? What can I say? It's, what comes around goes around. I was saying the stream was truly like Matrix. <laughs> oh, that glitch. Run the glitch. <laughs> Salaamu Alaikum. Say you witness a person do three talaqs to his wife. But they continue to stay together, but they followed no madhab. That's fine. You, you don't have to say anything. You have no obligation to say. Because it's between them. It's between them to raise it to the courts. Uh, love your live streams. I pray everyone here benefits. Ameen. Ameen. Zakallah khair. Mahmood. Mahmood. Love you too, bro. Hasib was saying, uh, Mufti, one question. Is McDonald's haram? Eating, I mean, I haven't really kind of found out about all their ways of making food. But eating the haram food in McDonald's is haram. So the meats obviously the pork all these kind of things i don't know about the fries and i don't know about the the milkshake and i don't know about the fillet of fish and the other kind of food I've, i haven't eaten in mcdonald's i mean mcflurry i've eaten probably like about six years ago five years ago yeah if any of you guys want to buy me a mcflurry mcflurry yeah marhaban welcome uh i live in canada here the weather is unpredictable uh one day it's cloudy next few hours wind blows you away yeah you know i actually love to come to canada uh maji Next bike ride from the one side of Kinda to the next side of Kinda. 
Yeah, from one side to the other side. We're going to do like a mission, like a month's mission. Super slow motion. Why eat McDonald's when you have sakibs? <laughs> Excellent one. That's the one. That's the one, bro. That's the one. Wa alaikum assalam. I'll see you inshallah. Tahmeed Makshaykh. There's actually a place called Makhalal off Coventry Road. I've eaten there once. It's quite good. It's quite nice. I mean, obviously, I'm going to find out after 40 years what's done to my body, but. Zakallah khair, Ahsan Jazah, Amir Wal. No warakum Allah. No warakum Allah. Wa hafidakum. You're on your own. No, in summer. Bro, in summer. Think about this, bro. We're going to go in summer. Nice, chill out, kind of main kind of roads. Yeah. There must be like some some big motorway that they have. M6, they have like some kind of their version of M6. Actually, we can't go on motorways, any. Uh, what a shame. <laughs> All right, guys. Jazakallah khair. Take care, inshallah. I'm going to finish it there. Uh, and uh, yeah, check out the videos, check out the week's videos and you might have to check this out three times. Yeah, if you're real loyal to this and hit the like button as well. Have you hit hills and mountains? Oh yeah, actually, uh, Star Starlight uh, cancelled that. We're not coming to Canada. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just watch it on the TV. On uh, David, <laughs> David Attenborough's. <laughs> we'll just watch it on David Attenborough's show, yeah. That's enough. That's how far we'll stay. The only thing I remember about Kinda is remember that uh, Twin Peaks, remember Twin Peaks, yeah. Maji, you remember this year? You must remember Twin Peaks. Yeah, that was like the thing. The guy he had the dog with him, the white dog. He had the mountain ranger, and he had his like kind of dad with him, who like spiritual guide. <clears throat> All right, guys. So take care, inshallah. And as I said, I'll see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. And this is for the real time, yeah? This is the last real time. So don't wait. Don't kind of think to yourselves, where's he gone? Picture has gone. Uh, uh, so, yeah. So I actually got uh, Usul Fiqh. I've actually got one. So you can check out the the on my uruk.com. I've got a whole series on Usul Fiqh. So you can check that out, inshallah. Well, it was too weird. Come on, man. It was kind of like eerie kind of mix between X-Files and Tom and Jerry. Yeah, it was like in the middle somewhere. It was a bit funny, but at the same time, it's a bit weird, and it was a bit do, you know, gloomy as well. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.